Hello guys, welcome to Nigera Techies. In this video, I am going to explain how to implement writing control in Angular 14. For doing this one, I am going to use this ng bootstrap library. So in this market, we have several libraries like ngx writing and ngx star writing. But it is having some compatibility issue in this Angular 14. That's what I have chose to this one. So the first step is we have to install this package. So let me copy this one. I'm going to install in my application. So basically it will take some time. So once it's completed, we have one directive is called NGP rating. So using this directive, we can define our rating control. Okay. So let me copy this one. Get okay, saying like the package bootstrap 13 will be installed and executed. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Okay, great. The installation gets completed. And already I have created one component. The component name is rating. Okay. So in this rating, I'm going to have one H1 tag input rating. And then we can use our directive. Okay. Let me save this one. Okay, we can see this uh, output. The star is very small and also we are getting this 10 star, right? So I'm going to include one CSS change here. NGB writing. So this for yellow color and the font size. Let me save this one. you know so defaultly the 10 values are coming so if you want to minimize that also we can handle so let me use this max property so the maximum I'm going to provide 5 okay so you know currently we have only 5 controls so in case if you want more controls like more than 10 so that also it's possible here but in the most of the scenarios we will have only uh, five stars only so let me save this one i'm going to have one more section this is for like a output here i'm going to use one more property it's called it disabled Okay, disabled not going to support so instead of that we can use read only okay, it's fine so see now this star basically it's not an editable field and the first one is the input so we can change it okay so the next thing is so when I am selecting one of the rating I have to get the values okay for doing this one I am going to define one form control So the default value I'm going to provide zero. Let me copy this one. I'm going to bind in our control. So the next thing is we have to get the value. So I'm going to write on event. I'm going to bind the rating value into console so let me save this one
okay it's not saved that's what it's not working okay fine so now two five so which star I'm clicking based on that I am able to get this value so now I am going to do this setting operation for this output rating so I am not going to set the values directly so instead of that I am going to do one calculation so let me declare two variables here rating count zero total rating zero then final rating so when you are clicking this rating control for any time I'm going to increase the count here for the same way the rating value I'm going to submit here if there is an any null value we can provide zero okay that's fine and once we have this sum we can take the average value so this dot final rating equal to so this dot total rating divided by this dot total count I mean this rating count okay We can have only two digit after the decimal point now let me take this one in our component in this uh, output control I am going to include on properties called rate let me set this value and rating from so the count already we have that also we can bind in our HTML control now see so the value is 0 so when I'm clicking this one see now rating from one user and our output also 4 now if I'm clicking this 5 so rating from two users first, so first I clicked this 4 and the second I have clicked this 5 so total value is 9 and this count is 2 so for the average is 4.5 so the similar way I can give many ratings okay see now at the end so the rating from 18 users is we have the average value is 3.44 so based on the input so this value also selected okay for the study purpose I just declared two variables and managed the data so in this real-time application so just to consider on e-commerce application if I am providing the rating for one of the product they will store the information in one of the database okay for this product against the particular user and they provided the rating is like that at the end they will take the average finally they are going to display like this okay like our output so in this input so basically collect the input from different customers okay now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching